Hi everyone, this is Ryan Hoyme, AK Massage Nerd. Right now I have Janet Khan, PhD. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> so you just gave a great uh, keynote speech the other day and stuff. Can you kind of sum it up a little bit? Yeah, so and, let yeah. me just say PhD, yeah. also LMT, very yeah. important. Yeah. To me, that, <laughs> that definitely helps, yep. Um, so you want me to sum up a talk? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So what I spoke about, what I spoke about actually was a number of things, but particularly to explain to educators um, what's in the Affordable Care Act that is really that reflects the values of therapeutic massage and other complementary and alternative medicine uh, professions, and what is in the Affordable Care Act that might be opening some doors for us, uh, with a real reminder that. Uh, you have to walk through the door, even if it's kind of yeah. open for you. <laughs> it's so and true. as a profession, I think we've yeah. been uh, slow to become active in the policy realm. That's been to our detriment. I think we're getting organized now to do that. Yeah. The key professional associations, other organizations, are taking that onto their plate. So I feel somewhat hopeful about that. Um, and I think there's a role for educators because we are educating students now for uh, opportunities that we haven't had yet, we didn't have when we were going through school. Okay, so yeah. that was the basic premise. Uh, I took people through a number of specific sections of the law, and I was pretty careful to put into my PowerPoint the language of the law so that when people got the handout, they'd be able yeah. to spend time with it. So that whole PowerPoint is now available to people on the website of the Alliance. Yeah. Uh, so if people really want to begin to dip into the cam friendly, massage friendly sections of the law, I would go there. Right now, the section of it that we as a large integrative medicine community are working on most intently is something called section 2706, which is a non-discrimination section. So, but it's about not having insurers not be allowed to discriminate against provider types. Oh, like complementary yep. and alternative, alternative medicine providers. So it does not say that you have to cover all massage therapists to do anything that they want. Mm -hmm. But what it does say is that um, if you are covering something or other, whatever is defined in the essential health benefits or the benefits of an insurance program, whatever they say they're covering, so if it is treatment for chronic musculoskeletal pain, for instance, if, if they're covering PTs to do that, they would have to cover MTs also if it is within a person's licensed scope of practice, state licensed or state certified scope of practice. Uh -huh. So um, as it turns out, given how mammoth the Affordable Care Act is, a lot of insurance companies aren't even aware of that section of the law. If they're aware of it, it's gotten not much publicity, so they think they can ignore that section of the law. So we are working now uh, really to make sure that insurers know that they're going to be held accountable to that standard. We expect to be covered when it is appropriate. Yep. And, but thank you so much for helping us get more informed because so many people are just so lost about what's going to be going on or what's going to be happening with this too. And it's stuff. easy and, to get lost. Yep. People in Washington yep. are lost about yep. what certain sections <laughs> of it mean. Yep. And that particular section was, uh, was and may still be quite controversial. I mean, when we were trying to get it into the law, uh, the AMA was working very hard to not have it become part of the law. Mm -hmm. We prevailed as a community. It is law now, um, but we may still have to protect it. Yep, definitely. So that may be part of our job. Yep. And how can people get a hold of you for more information then? And, uh, you know, I don't really want to be the go-to person oh, for okay. 5,000 people <laughs> contacting me directly. Uh, uh. So we did just form a committee here within the Alliance. Okay. Um, and, uh, and I would send people directly to, for act, action, I would send them directly to an organization uh, called the Integrated Healthcare Policy Consortium. The uh, address URL is www.ihpc.org, and okay. they are able to activate people in and put them in touch with their own legislators and so forth awesome. to move things forward. I work directly with that organization, and I chair their committee on 2706, the section of the law we just discussed. Okay. So, uh, in effect, I think it's more going to be smoother for people to go oh, to definitely. IHPC yep. than to me, but I will be behind the activities on. Okay, so, okay, perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thanks. Appreciate Thanks it. So much yeah. Yeah. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks.